Creo 11 introduces full multi-body support for the sheet metal design environment. You can create multiple bodies of category sheet metal in addition to the previously available capability to create multiple basic solid bodies. This can help for the master model use case where parts are designed in context of a multi-body part to then extract the individual bodies as well as for use cases where bodies are used to more easily and reliably design a single body part that contains repetitive or mirror geometric shapes. There are several ways to create sheet metal bodies and create and assign sheet metal geometry to them. New and refined body creation workflows for sheet metal bodies include the new body command that enables you to choose the type of body to create, a solid body or a sheet metal body. It creates a new empty body and makes it the default body. Tools such as the planar feature that create independent walls now also offer the body options tab. The body collector here is automatically pre-filled with the default body. The body options tab is not available for features such as flat and flange wall as the attachment body can be derived from the selected reference geometry. Sheet metal bodies are shown in the design tree and quilt body evolution trees from where you can highlight, select them and also control their visibility. Here a first example of a boot and subtract operation that you can do between sheet metal bodies. Another way to create a sheet metal body is to offset a quilt. The shown workflow makes use of the benefits to reference geometry from an existing body to create the base surfaces of a body that is inserted into the side wall, perfectly matching the neighboring contour. We built this quilt using a fill surface that uses snapping capabilities to the neighbor body references and a copy of two wall surfaces that we extend and then merge with the fill surface. This quilt can then be used with the sheet metal flavor of the offset feature that offsets the quilt by a defined distance and then adds thickness to it. In this case, we simply specify an offset value of zero to create the thickened sheet metal body in place. We can then name the new body appropriately and assign a body color to it. Let's repeat that very same procedure to create another sheet metal body as bottom plate. When we check the create new body in the offset feature and keep the link to part option checked, then the thickness will be automatically set to the thickness defined at the part level. The thickness input panel is therefore grayed out in this case as the part is driving the thickness. If we uncheck the link to part control, we allow the thickness of this body to be specified independently. In this case, we set the thickness to a value of 2. As a result, we now have a sheet metal part containing sheet metal bodies of different thicknesses. Additional body creation options include conversion of a solid body into a sheet metal body, body operations such as copy-paste, mirror pattern and so on, as well as the option to create new bodies when placing a sheet metal user-defined feature. Please refer to additional What's New videos for more information on those.